So I filmed the what's in the bag on a budget. I've filmed the ultimate what's in the bag. But it's time to set the record straight. And what clubs do I actually play? Well, it's an absolute stunning morning. I'm down at Wallasey Golf Club, uh, perched up on what is the sort of 17th tee box. What a backdrop, and there's no breeze, so we're going to have a great morning round here. And I'm going to show you around my bag, like I said, from, uh, from what I'm intending to play this year. Not major changes, but there are some, and uh, we'll kick it all off, I think, with... Uh, we'll start with the bits that I haven't changed. Right, okay, so the first item in the bag that hasn't changed and hasn't changed for, I reckon, almost three years. For those of you who've been uh, watching the channel for quite a while, you'll know that I had this ball in the bag, the Seed uh, SD02, exactly the same model. I've used it from uh, the minute I tried them, to be honest with you. Uh, we did some testing three years ago. It was really, really impressive. It's incredibly well priced. And for my own performance in and around greens, off the tee, irons, control, all the things that I'd look for, and, and feel, I suppose, is that other major important thing for me. It ticks all of those boxes. It's been a bit of a no-brainer, to be honest with you. Seed themselves are a real good supporter of the channel over the years, and uh, yeah, it's great to be still using their golf ball. Um, but from there, the sort of slightly boring start, I suppose, golf ball, we'll go into the irons. Right, so the ball, nice and simple, that's done. Next up is another bit that hasn't changed for 18 months or so, uh, October 2019. I've got these uh, PXG uh, 0311 uh, the P model and I've got them in uh, pitching wedge through to five iron that's the first reveal because I'm going to change the bag up slightly I'd mentioned it um, throughout this last six months but I'm going to end at a five iron longest I'm going to play and to put that into some kind of perspective my five iron uh, is probably in and around the sort of 190 mark that's where I would hit this thing reason I picked these irons is I love the sound and feel is a major major thing for me and uh, they're so so soft They've performed incredibly well. I have got a particular uh, shaft, a steel fibre 110 stiff shaft. I believe it's a bit of a Marmite shaft. You uh, very much either love it or hate it. And for me, I love it. It suits me a lot. And I've really enjoyed every minute of playing these irons. I can't moan at all. Um, simply difficult to fault. And they've stayed in the bag for 18 months and I can't see any reason why these are gonna change. But then out of there from the five iron, where did I go next? Right, next up, it's wedges and uh, more new clubs in a bag. Uh, you will have seen these, uh, for those of you who watch the channel quite frequently, then uh, these were, they were part of the ultimate what's in the bag as well, and it's these ES21 wedges from Mizuno. Um, pretty much hard to fault. I think they look fantastic. Uh, in saying that, the finish looks fantastic. I think if you look at them on the shelf, they look very bulky and uh, a fair bit of mass. And it's not until you sit these behind the ball that you see how they've chamfered off that top line. I've mentioned it in the full review that make them look really neat and compact, compact and nothing like the kind of game improvement wedge it is, if you like. Um, but you can see from a number of positions, I've got this wide sole as well, which I like, so chipping from any kind of position and also from bunker play. So I've got a 54 and a 58 in these ES21 wedges. Again, from bunkers, I like to play with a bit of loft. So 58 is the shot, the, uh, the club that I would normally play from a bunker. And again, cuts through the sand nice and easy. Uh, that width of sole again, I really love and is so versatile. And it doesn't impact on the ability to open up and uh, sort of uh, try and flop shots or whatever it is you like to do with a wedge. These kind of do everything. And then they've got great feel as well. So for me, this ES21 has been a standout product. And uh, like I said, 54 and 58 in the bag. Right, next up it is uh, it's the putter. And uh, this is a new club in the bag. Uh, I, again, really, really like what this club does. And the major thing it does is uh, it aligns the ball incredibly well. We'll have, uh, we'll have a little bit of a putt while the camera's on. This can't go in, it'd be a little bit uh, too good to be true, but... Yeah, not too bad. Um, it's, it's an Odyssey putter, it's the Two Ball 10, which was a, a putter they released last year. The Two Ball is already an incredibly good alignment aid. It's been around for a long, long time. This 10 model is very much a sort of perimeter, back-end weighted, mallet-style putter. It's very, very stable. Um, I love, again, the face insert. It comes off very nice. I love that kind of feel and feedback back into the hands. But it's then this addition of this triple track. And triple track comes in both ball format and also as an alignment aid in the putter itself. For me, 
it's just as easy to use with using the seed ball and that single black line that they've got you line it up to that center red stripe and you've just got this perfect alignment it's sort of all it does is sort of uh, it's an added extra if you like to the two ball then you've got the lines as long as nobody starts taking too long to mess around and line it up and we start to get where uh, rounds are taking too long then i think it's a, a massive addition and help to any average golfer and it's really good on those sort of short puts just getting that alignment really good square onto your target hit it with a bit of pace and keep your eyes shut and hope for the best but so far so good it's been really impressive this putter right so next up i'm going into the woods and it's a seven wood and i don't think there's any secrets there to be honest with you uh, i literally raved about this golf club g425 is the model i've gone for um, as soon as i tested it it pretty much went straight into the bag the reasons i've done it is because of a its versatility i think is one big key factor i reckon i can play it from anything you see the par 3 i'm playing right now which is a 202 carry um probably about on my limit that 202 205 carry it launches high it lands soft ideal for a par 3 or a long par 3 in this case but also you'll see playing it from the fairway a tight lie where sometimes you may go for the three wood but again it's a little bit harder to launch where this thing oozes confidence i love the sort of low profile of the g425 it picks it up so easy and like i said it is just I, I can't fault this club to be honest with you and i talk about average golfers about what they should have in the bag and i think all of us should be looking at a seven wood without doubt so that's seven wood what is next in the bag right so next up is another change in the bag for this year and uh we're going to a hole it's the 11th at wallacey golf club first of all it is a stunning golf hole uh you'll see from the drone footage we put up for you now that uh, it's a fairly tight one off the tee and it's a type of hole that i might choose to use this which is a five wood uh first time i have had a five wood in the bag for uh well forever i can't remember the last time i played one um first of all the club itself is the Mizuno STZ which we featured fairly recently and uh, you know from my opinion on the club itself fantastic performer but it's what it does in terms of distance wise it's kind of like a 220 club I was finding kind of similarities between my three wood and five wood not overly different and just that little bit of a shorter shaft and uh, the control I got on consistency with the STZ was fantastic so this is the type of hole that I would tee it up on I've got a yardage I know what I'm looking for I'm anything over that 200 yard plus and I'm in good nick and good position on what is like I said a fairly tight fairway to play into this green that's the plan at least anyway right last club in the bag the big reveal it's uh, it's not really a change this one because uh, again those of you who watch the channel know that i've had this uh, pretty much straight in the bag from back end of i think it was july last year it is the callaway b21 driver um get one thing out of the way from the top side i hate it i don't like the look of it i don't like this sort of almost triangular elongated shape not my cup of tea whatsoever but why the hell have you got it in the bag well because i have driven as good as i have done uh, with any other driver for ever with it in terms of consistency uh it, with the bad shots they're not as bad as perhaps they should be uh it's it's it launches the ball well the ball speeds are incredible i've just played really decent golf with it and it's again all these things are about you know golf is a major thing is about confidence and uh, it's confidence inspiring the more fairways you find the more that confidence grows so it's been really really good i love the sound of it and no joke about the way it looks at the top of the sound and feel is really good resonates back in the hand but the other big difference has been this hazardous smoke shaft uh stiff shaft but one inch shorter than reg so i think it's a 43.5 shaft inch shaft now you know again if you watched the channel recently i did a lot of testing and whilst i didn't really seem to lose anything in terms of overall distance just the consistency in terms of how often i found the middle of the face with that shorter shaft seemed to increase quite considerably so my sort of uh, averages become far far better and like i said back here out on the uh, golf course at wallacey again we found a good few fairways to stay with it and uh, my confidence is high so that is pretty much the bag from ball uh, through to putter i'm just making sure we've covered everything into driver and uh, i'm loving everything i've got right now it's a really decent setup it gaps quite well for those of you who count up you'll know we've probably got 13 clubs in the bag which leaves one option for perhaps sticking a hybrid in but in all honesty what i'll probably carry is uh, a reduced set in terms of the number of irons drop a wedge out and i'll probably end up going around with a sort of 10 uh, club carry bag that's my preferred option to play so uh, i'm not really a 14 club man anyway 
Right, that's me done. What a fantastic morning up here at uh, Wallasey Golf Club. Thank you for uh, letting me use the course to film this one. As uh, you can see, it's pretty special up here. Um, give me some comments down below. Give me some feedback. Hope you enjoyed what you've seen. And uh, I'll see you all very, very soon.